Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rujan. In this video, we'll learn about MPU 9250 module application with Arduino. How to collect the data from the sensor and print on the serial monitor. Where are these accelerometers, gyroscope and magnetometers used? These are used in our daily life, like in our smartphones to track the orientation and direction, in GPS systems, in balancing and stabilizing robot, in navigation systems like in aircraft, ships and submarines. So let's start with the video. MPU 9250 is a 9-axis motion tracking device that combines 3-axis gyroscope, 3-axis accelerometer, 3-axis magnetometer and it also has a temperature measuring sensor. So now coming into the axis and orientation, so you can see over here that so y-axis positive is up, x-axis is right and the z-axis is down this way and up like this, positive is up. And the negative is down so this is applicable for both accelerometer and gyroscope but when it comes to the magnetometer that is a compass the x-axis will be like this so if you see there will be a dot over here as given in the data sheet and based on that this is the x-axis this is the y-axis and this is the z-axis so the axis for magnetometer is different than the accelerometer and gyroscope. So let's look into the data sheet of MPU 9250. If you come to the MPU 9250 over V4.5, we can see that it has 3 axis, 16 bit ADC, that is analog to digital converter for digitizing the gyroscope sensors and accelerometer sensors and magnetometer sensor. So each of these have three axis 16 bit ADC converters. So if you go to 4.6, we can see that the full scale range of gyro sensors may be digitally programmed for all these values. And you can also change the sample rate in the program from 8000 samples to 3.6 samples. So same way, you can also vary the scales of accelerometer and magnetometer as per your requirement like 2G that is G is nothing but the gravitation acceleration due to gravity 4G or plus or minus 5G's and the same way this is micro Tesla's so this is MPU 9250 module and what you can see over here is uh, MPU 9250 sensor so which has accelerometer gyroscope and magnetometer in one chip and what you see over here is uh, nothing but the regulator that is a voltage regulator to drop 5 volts to 3.3 volts and uh, some of the components over here are uh, pull-up resistors. So coming to the pinouts of this sensor, the first one is VCC pin. That is uh, the voltage input for this. Here we can input 5 volts, uh, which we get on the Arduino board directly uh, to the VCC pin as this has a regulator to control the voltage. And so the next one is the ground pin is connected to the Arduino ground. And SCL pin. SCL pin is uh, the clock pin, serial clock pin for I2C communication and SPI communication. So the next one is SDA pin. So this is the data pin that is I2C serial communication data. And it also serves as master output slave input pin for SPI protocol. So EDA pin is nothing but the I2C serial data pin input for the external uh, sensors. This MPU9250 model can also be configured as master receive data input from the external sensors and uh, usually uh, this pin is connected EDA pin is connected to SDA pin for external sensor as this is a data pin this requires the clock signal as well so the next pin what you see is ECL pin is nothing but the clock uh, that is I2C master serial clock pin which is uh, which will connect to the SCL pin on the external sensor so the next one is ADO pin this is used to change the I2C address uh, of the sensor when you want it to be set to low you actually uh, use uh, 0x68 and when you want it to be set high you use 0x69 so this also serves as a master input slave output uh, pin for SPI communication so the next is int that is nothing but the interrupt pin that is the hardware interrupt pin so this can be triggered uh, by any of the values from the axis of the sensor so NCS pin that is the chip select pin for SPA communication. So F-Sync is nothing but the frame synchronization input pin and this can also be used uh, to pass the hardware interrupts from external sensor. Connection is very simple over here. So we'll be connecting VCC to the plus 5 volts on the Arduino board. 
so here we have the Arduino board so we'll be connecting uh, 5 volts to the VCC here and ground to the ground pin on the MPU9250 and the SCL pin that is a clock pin we'll be connecting to the A5 over here and A4 we'll be connecting to data pin SDA pin you can check out the circuit diagram from the link mentioned in the description Here you can see the white pin as the VCC white cable. And the next one is purple, that is ground. So the next one is the clock pin. Clock pin is connected to blue. So the clock pin we are connecting to A5. And the last one, the data pin. The green one we are the green one data pin we are connecting to a4 yes so the connection is very simple we are only using four cables as it is i2c protocol so let's jump into the code and understand so the first thing what you need to do is you need to download the mpu 9 to Pfizer library that can be done by going to sketch include library and manage libraries so once you go there uh, let this load first all all the libraries then you can search here mpu 9250 and click enter this is the library which i'm using the first one what you can see is uh, flight systems mpu 9250 so i've already installed this uh, how can you include this library over here so there's a method so you can go to sketch include library and scroll down to the the library which you downloaded that is this one when you click on this it will include this header so I will just delete it over here because I've already included it. So the next one is the wire.h. This is uh, uh, very much required for I2C communication. After we have included these two libraries, then I'm using the class MPU9250 and creating IMU object and then passing two parameters. This is for I2C communication wire. The second parameter is I2C address. Uh, we have left the ADO pin, uh, ADO pin open that is unconnected. So hence it is set to low that is uh, 0x68. If you want to set it to high you can use uh, 0x69. So the next one is the void setup loop. Here we are actually uh, starting a serial monitor and also the IMU. That is uh, the object what we created over here. In the loop function we are using the read to read the data from the MPU9250. So the next one is very simple that is we are just printing the values so the first uh, the serial print i'm using serial print and then uh, uh, entering this text on the serial monitor and getting the values by using this function so you can use get axel x underscore mss to get the x axis accelerometer same way y axis and z axis so what is this three three is nothing but how many values you want after the decimal point so the same way uh, to get the reading for the gyroscope you can use this which is in radians per second so accelerometer unit uh, what you get over here is a meter per second square and gyroscope here you get in radians per second and uh, the same way gyroscope y and z axis come into the magnetometer you can use this function which will be in micro teslas and uh, on x y and z axis and also this sensor measures the temperature so you can use this function to get the temperature as well let's try to compile this code yes the compile is successful we can then then dump the code to the microcontroller by this upload button over here once the program is uploaded, you can open the serial monitor from here and you can set the baud rate to 9600. That is a baud rate what we have set over here. So then you can see the values being printed. So now you can see that I am I'm just using a small speaker to just uh, get it into home position like a flat surface. So let me just uh, stop the auto scrolling to just show you. So you can see over here that x-axis, y-axis, axillometer values are almost equal to zero and z-axis is showing me like uh, 9.137, 9.1, 9.12. So this is nothing but uh, the acceleration due to gravity 
and uh, coming to the gyroscope x axis so all y axis and z axis are almost equal to zero because there is no movement across these axis and uh, the magnetometer values are uh, in micro teslas and the last one you can see uh, the temperature is 32 degrees so because i've kept my hand uh, my finger near to it uh, that is showing 32 degrees so let me just show you uh, by uh, switch on the auto scroll and show you the values how it changes as you move as you can see here that i'm i'm giving an acceleration and also i'm tilting the sensor so that is why the gyroscope values and accelerometer uh, values are also changing uh, previously uh, when the sensor was in the home position that is flat on the cube uh, we saw that uh, the acceleration along z axis was 9.2 but it was supposed to be 9.8 or 9.7 approximately because of this difference uh, it needs calibration thank you for watching hope this video was helpful link to the components used in this video are mentioned below in the description check out my blog tastetechharbor.com for more details there is an upcoming tutorials on how to display the sensor data on lcd so if you haven't watched the lcd video check it out from the icar above so subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified thank you again take care see you in the next one bye bye